welcome good morning so today i'm showing you guys my pregnancy morning skincare routine as if you didn't know already because why would i be making a pregnancy skincare routine if i wasn't pregnant i'm pregnant <laughs> clearly so today i'm going to show you guys what products i use in the mornings that have helped my skin tremendously throughout this pregnancy i'm only about halfway done but i wanted to show you guys all the stuff that i have been using currently that have helped me keep a glow keep healthy vibrant dewy all of the above i just want to show you guys everything that i've been using i also would love to throw in the fact that this video is actually is actually yep mm -hmm. it's actually a collaboration with my friend madison she has a channel where she's been posting a lot of vlogs and stuff and i believe that she said that she's you know dabbling into it again so if you guys would love to check out her skincare routine um clearly the stuff that she's gonna be using isn't all pregnancy safe but that does not mean that it's not good for your skin there's just certain things that pregnant women are not allowed to use during nursing and pregnancy because of just like the ingredients and stuff that are in these products but over on madison's channel you will be able to see all of the stuff that she got so <laughs> Make sure to go subscribe to her, show her love, like how you show me love, and I am so excited to show you guys my videos. So, without further ado, let's get into it. One thing I love to do whenever I start my skincare is obviously put my hair back so I look like this little Nick and Mole rat. This headband, I'm pretty sure I got it from Ulta. It's nothing special at all, but yes. Here we are. First thing I do is dampen my face. This just helps me kind of prep for washing my face because you don't really want to put products. At least for me, I found it best not to put products directly onto my face without having any moisture on my face. In the mornings, I've started to gravitate towards using this Acure Brightening Cleansing Gel. It's got pomegranate, blackberry, acai, and all types of stuff that I can't pronounce. I have been using this and it helps to brighten your skin, it says. If you guys have tuned in and you saw my first trimester recap video, you guys would have seen that I was kind of not complaining, but I was definitely saying that like my skin has definitely changed throughout pregnancy. I found that using stuff that is brightening and also kind of gives off a dewy finish to hydrate your face has been my go-to since I got pregnant because <laughs> if you saw the video, you would have known that baby girl has taken a lot out of my skin. It used to be a combination skin, um, that's how my skin would feel and now I feel like it's definitely just become more dry. After I have applied all of my cleansing gel to my face, I'm going to use this little pink, I don't know if you want to call it like a little wash rag thing. This is what I use to wash my face. This side has texture on it and I'm pretty sure this is for exfoliating which is good and then on the other side it's more of like a soft type of fabric more like just plain towel type of thing i'd like to use this pink side now that i rinsed off all of my face wash i'm gonna be using this advanced nail 92 all-in-one cream this is super nice because it gives you kind of like the appearance of very dewy skin. It is very liquidy, as you can tell. So I'm just going to take some from the cap. I'm just gonna put it onto my hand like this. Now I'm just gonna start to put this all into my face. It is a cream and it just helps to give the appearance of very glowy skin. Um, it feels amazing. If you didn't know, snail mucin, I think that's what they call it. It's actually just very, very beneficial for your skin in general. If I have any excess, I like to just eat, put it all over my arms or my neck. Don't forget about your neck. Your neck is also very important. I feel like you can already start to see the glowiness in my skin, which it feels so good and moisturizing on my skin. So I kind of just let this seep in for a couple seconds. 
probably like about actually like maybe like a minute or two and I just kind of let it seep into my skin before I start adding any of the other products onto my face just so I'm not combining and just mixing it for no reason um, but yeah this just helps to add back a lot of the moisture that the face wash and the exfoliating could have just like taken out of my skin Next, I'm gonna be taking this glass refining serum from Peach and Lily. And with this, I'm just going to do two pumps of this, put it on my fingers, and then from there, just going to lightly work this into my face. Next, I'm gonna take this little handy dandy gua sha, I believe that's what it's called, and this helps to reduce kind of like the puffiness in your face, especially waking up in the mornings. I feel like your face just is a lot more plump. It's just, I don't know what happens in the middle of the night. I'm not a dermatologist or a skin. I don't know that stuff, okay? I don't know that stuff. But I'm gonna take this cute little gua sha right here, and I'm just going to try and kind of depuff my face. It is very important to use a SPF and this SPF, I, I actually use SPF like the lotions or you know obviously an SPF before going out but um, I do also use an SPF in one of my CC creams or BB creams or whatever it is. It has an SPF of 40, but especially on days that I decide that I'm probably not going outside or honestly just in general, it is very important to protect your skin. So I have been using this Juice Beauty SPF 30 oil-free moisturizer. And this is like, this is one of the things that I like to start implementing because I never used SPF before especially because I was like oh well I'm brown it's fine I can I can just do without no your skin just needs to be protected at all times so I get this amount it's very 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 small and I'm just going to put this all over my face the one thing that I wish was a little different about this is I wish that it didn't leave such a white cast but it's okay because the more that you just let it sit and it, the cast kind of like goes away. Again, don't forget your neck. Don't do it. Pretty much one of the last things that I do for my skincare is I love to use this Tula Skincare Rose Glow and Get It. Um, it's a cooling and brightening eye balm and it comes in this really cute pink tube. Um, my favorite colors are probably pink and yellow. I love yellow. Yellow is probably my top favorite color. Fun fact. I just think it reminds me of like happiness and beautiful bright flowers. I absolutely love it. But it's just this really nice, it looks like a chapstick almost. So what I like to do is I put this under my eyelids right here and then I'll also put it on my eyelids because it cools and it just helps to like calm down any inflammation that you kind of have going on. applied that I'm gonna be using this little skincare roller this little thing right here I'm gonna use this side because it's smaller obviously and then I'm just going to kind of roll this in to my skin Last but certainly not least, um, this thing is also included on your face. It's your lips. Your lips are still important. They also still can get damaged by the sun. But for in the mornings, I love to use this Laneige Gummy Bear Glowy Balm. Lip Glow Balm. Yep. Honestly, it's just really moisturizing. 
So I just coat my lips in a nice layer of this stuff. It smells really good too. It doesn't smell like gummy bears, but I'm not mad because I don't think I could deal with actually something that smelled exactly like gummy bears. Too sweet for me, but you know. Ladies and gents, this is the end of my skincare routine. Those were my morning, my morning. There is a night one which has different products and everything, but I will be filming that for you guys later and uploading. You guys will see that probably within the next month. But anyways, this is what my skin looks like right now. As you can see, I do still have pigmentation from scarring, so we're working on that. She's still dewy looking very much healthy they have faded so that is also it's just like a super nice touch i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i hope it was kind of informative for you for some skincare products that you can use while pregnant don't forget to check out madison's channel i will leave it down in the description below so you guys can just click it and I'll also link her video. But if you go to her channel, it'll be like the first video there. So don't forget to go like, comment, and subscribe on her channel. Show her some love because she genuinely deserves it. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe under today's video. If there is one skincare product that you would use, comment it down below because I would love to know what you guys like the most. That's pretty much it. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. And I'm catching this, baby